Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Yasin, and today I'm super excited because I am upgrading the Wi-Fi system in my house to Wi-Fi 6. I'll be using the Amplify Alien that you guys can see right over there. There's the box, so I'm super excited. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys my current setup right now, and then we're going to be running a speed test of my current setup in like four different locations, which is the locations that I usually sit at or that I use my devices most. Then we're gonna unbox the Amplify together, set it up, and then do the test all over again to see if the Wi-Fi 6 and the Amplify Alien have actually improved my Wi-Fi throughout my house and then share with you guys my final thoughts about this system right here and whether I think it's worth the upgrade or not. Now, real quick, there is two versions of this. There's the standalone, which costs $399, and it's just the main router, and then there is the one that comes with the mesh waypoint that you can put somewhere else in your house, and that one comes in at $799, and that's the one that I got, so I will link those down below in the description if you guys wanna pick that up, pick them out. But anyway, let me show you guys my current setup and run some speed tests. So currently I am using the Eros mesh router system and this right here is not a Wi-Fi 6 system But before I get into that my house I have AT&T fiber optics So I have one gig down and one gig up now I don't get those speeds, but I'm hoping to get a little bit closer with the alien amplify So the Eros mesh router system comes with the main router and two beacons So I have my main router in the kitchen I have one of the beacons in the family room and then another beacon upstairs in the hallway right outside my bed bedroom and that is the where we're going to be doing the testing those three locations and then I threw in a fourth location which is my front porch outside and that's just to see if it can reach out there so I went ahead and did those tests in the four different locations in the kitchen I was getting 293 megabits down and 565 megabits up in the family room I was getting 247 megabits down and I was also getting 194 megabits up in the bedroom upstairs, we had 362 megabits down and 441 megabits up. And then outside sitting on my front porch, which is the furthest away from the main router and all the beacons, I was getting 85 megabits down and 120 megabits up. And those are fairly good speeds. So I'm excited to see what the Amplify Alien can do. But before we can get it set up, we have to actually unbox it. So here is a cinematic unboxing that I put together for you guys. Drunk, I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip. Chip, chip, nah, chip, chip, chip. Oh, flick the switch, kill the lights. Hope you guys like that because it was so much fun filming that sequence. Anyway, I went ahead and set it up and the setup process is honestly super easy. You download the Amplify Alien application and then it just automatically picks up whatever system you have. You have to plug it into your network and then you have to plug it into the wall outlet and then hit the button, it picks up the network, you give it a name and go through the steps real fast, real quick. And then after that, it's gotta actually update and the updating process took about four to five minutes, something like that. And then setting up the mesh point was super easy. I took it upstairs and instead of putting it in the hallway, um, I actually went ahead and put it in my daughter's room, which is across the hall from my master bedroom. So now this point is a little bit further away than the arrows point in my bedroom. But I think it's a good coverage because they are on two different sides of the house, even though one's upstairs and one is downstairs. So let's get testing and see what the results are. So I went ahead back to all four locations, the kitchen, family room, master bedroom, and outside, and I did test things to see how this network or the Wi-Fi 6 alien network performs. I have my notes right here with me, so I will be sharing them and putting them on the screen side by side so that you can compare them to what the Eros performed. So in the kitchen, we had 468 megabits down and 321 megabits up. In the family room, it went up, same story, 359 megabits down, and we have 274 megabits up uh, in the bedroom the download speed was 283 megabits down and 311 megabits up and then on the front porch we had 186 megabits down and 109 megabits up so when I look at these numbers side by side 
uh, two things pop up to me. Right in the kitchen when I'm super close to the actual main router, the downloads improved a lot. They almost doubled, not quite, but close. And then the upload speeds actually went down. I don't really know why it went down. Maybe Eros just does a better job uploading, but at 321 megabits, I'm happy with that because I'm just uploading YouTube videos that are like under 10 minutes. The other thing that sticks out to me or the red flag is the master bedroom upstairs. It went down. It went from 362 megabits down to 283 megabits down. That's about 80 megabits of difference. It's not much, but when you're looking at like numbers 360 and 280, the 80 doesn't really make that much of a difference, but I'm trying to understand why. Now the beacon upstairs or the mesh point for the alien is actually not right outside my bedroom. It's across the hall in my daughter's room. So I don't know if that makes a difference, but anyway, that's really all I'm noticing now outside on the front porch It increased significantly 85 down to 186 down and the 120 up went down to 109 But as long as it's 100 up, I'm never really uploading anything when I'm sitting outside the front porch anyway so overall, I think the Amplify Alien Wi-Fi 6 router definitely improved the speeds in my house and it was super easy to set up. I know it's a little bit expensive coming in at $799, but they do have the standalone router which comes in at $399. So that might be something you're interested in. And if you don't have a big house and you live in an apartment or condo, that's definitely all you're gonna need. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. If it's your first time to the channel, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, stay plugged.